Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson and I'm a certified life coach. Now what if I told you I'll teach you a technique where you don't judge yourself, you don't judge others, and then even if somebody hurts you, you can stay even keel. Well that's what this video is about. It's self-observation for self-acceptance and it's a simple technique. Now I ask you if you enjoy my videos please hit that subscribe button and also if you found them helpful share them with your friends. I really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to talk about self-observation but first I'm going to tell you what it is not. It is not self-absorption. There's an uneasiness with that and there could be labels with that. It's not that and it's also not giving up. Just because you're going to be observing your life doesn't mean you're not going to have problems to solve and solutions to those problems. So it doesn't mean you're giving up. So what is self-observation and how do you do it? Self-observation is simply watching your life, the good, and the bad without any judgment, without any labels. It's freeing up your energy and you're surrendering to the now. That's what Eckhart Tolle calls it. You're surrendering it without judgment. You just observe. You yield to the flow, just like a river. So you see your life, again, no judging, no labels, and you observe. An analogy I like to use is you're standing on a riverbank and you see some ships going by and you just look at the ships. Maybe one is blue, the next one is red, one goes a little faster, one goes a little slower, some are big and some are small. But you just watch them go by, you watch them go by. The same with clouds in the sky. You just watch them go by. That is what self-observation is. It is taking a step back and watching your life. This is especially true if somebody has bullied you, betrayed you, or hurt you. We tend to internalize it. But if you just look at it and accept it the way it is without judging yourself. It's kind of like our life goes along as a pendulum and it swings. If things are good, we're happy. If things are bad, we get upset. We're rarely in that middle. The pendulum swings. Self-observation will help you stay in the center of that pendulum. Because even if it goes this way or that way, you're just going to observe with no judgment and no labels. You surrender to the now to the present. And what this does is it awakens you. It's like putting a flashlight. Now you're going to see some dark things about yourself and some things you like, but you're not going to judge either one. You're putting a flashlight. And by putting that flashlight, that is self-acceptance and self-awareness. And it will carry over into so many areas in your life. Now it doesn't mean you're not going to take some steps. Now suppose you were stuck in the mud. And you're looking, again, you're just observing, I'm stuck in the mud. But you're going to stay in the present and you're going to figure a way to get out of the mud. So it's surrendering to the conditions but taking the steps necessary. And when you stay in the present, the solutions will come. And again, if somebody betrays you, if you don't put the labels, don't judge it, you'll get through it quicker and find those new friends. So let's practice it right now. I want you to stop right now and just look around the room. Not at the room, but you are in a part of that room. And how, how do you see yourself in that room? And don't judge the room. Don't judge what you're doing. You're just looking at it, just like the ships or like a play you're looking at at the theater. You're just watching it go by. You just watch it, like shake your hands, shake your head to get yourself in the mental state. Because what this does is, this is lighting a flashlight into the dark places and the good places. But if you just observe your life without judgment, you will accept yourself a lot better. 
Now, if you enjoy my videos, I ask you to please hit that subscribe button. And remember, sharing is caring. But I'll see you next time.